Take another deep breath and relax your consciousness and let it drift off to anything of your choice. Like use this opportunity to practice regaining your free will, to dream big, to reconnect to something that's unique to you. It doesn't have to be anything I've said or explained before. It can be a completely different quality that you've never heard anyone express. Or it can be as cliche as unconditional love. I don't care. Whatever makes you tick, whatever makes you excited, whatever feels the easiest to drop your consciousness into and to become more of and feels actually relevant to who you wish to be as an individuation of everything. And just bring your attention to this state of focus, to this vibratory essence, this vibratory image, this vibratory feel, this vibratory sensation of being. It's a beautiful way to express infinity, is to merge your consciousness with something that feels absolutely good, holistically good. Let it make you feel even better even better even better think of something that makes you feel even better and you start to feel it which means the meditation stage starts to kick in it starts to become more vivid more natural it starts to integrate slowly with your vibratory field Start to download that alternate reality into your consciousness. Start to shift your point of view, your vibratory state. You are now deliberately choosing your focus of consciousness. You're being a master, not a victim, not a slave. You're being a god, a creator, a chooser, a responsible party of creation, an aware portion of creation an agent, a free agent of creation. And as you imagine even more of the details that come with that reality, you start to enter a flow of consciousness that becomes so pristine, so clear, so desirable, so important that you forget everything else. And it starts to become your vibratory field. There is no more distinction between here and there. There is now your new here. That is now your new now. That is now your new being. This is merger. This is union. Unification with the vibratory field of your choice. Let yourself drift into this imagination, this imaginative plane of consciousness. Let yourself drift into it. Feel its particulars. Feel it with your being, feel it with your body, feel it with your mind, feel it with your sight, feel it with your consciousness. Feel it with your smell, feel it with your ear. Feel it with the space that you are. Feel the ease of it. It's so effortless because it's so true to who you are. You're simply remembering more of who you already are. That's why it feels so good. You're already complete. Everything you ever desire is already in store for you. You simply amplify it by connecting to it. You accelerate its manifestation by becoming it. Meditate upon it until you become it. And then know that it will manifest in good time. You don't need to worry about the seeds you've already planted. You can simply move on to the next most amazing imaginative state of consciousness. Always letting creation do its job. Don't interfere, don't meddle, don't dominate, don't control the environment. Dominate your frequency, occupy your space, occupy yourself. 
Occupy your state of being with conscious intent, deliberate focus, and imaginative quality. Notice how free you are. Your consciousness is never tied to the physical focus. It can go wherever it wants to go and make that more real than anything else. This is samadhi. This is union. To become one with your objective focus. To let your attention be flexible, malleable, and streamlike. Like a constant stream of oil being poured into a pot from yet another pot. Constant, thick continuity of consciousness poured into the vibratory state of your desire, making you feel absolutely amazing. Knowing that you are worthy of infinite creation, knowing that you are worthy of infinite desire, knowing that you are worthy of infinite fulfillment, knowing that you are worthy of infinite love, and that all the qualities you seek are already present inside of your consciousness, and you're allowing yourself to drift on them, to serve them freely, like a server serves the waves. Ride the waves of your consciousness, ride the waves of your ecstasy, of your bliss. Serving your way even through your valley experiences with ease and grace and beauty and confidence. Never taking your cue from anything but your own desire. Feel however you want to feel, not however you should feel. See whatever you want to see, not whatever you think you should feel or see. Think whatever you want to think, not what do you think you should think. Become a conscious creator, not an unconscious receiver. Become a presenter of creation, a generator. No more victims here. Only consciousness, only intentionality, only imagination, only what we desire, my friends, only what we desire. What we desire shall be because it already is. That's why we desire it. We have that power. Be of the vibration that you wish to see the reality of and then let the reality reflect itself in due time. Know that it will. You don't have to know when or how. How yourself does that for you. How or when are taken care of. Your only duty is to be in the imaginative state that you desire to be in. Be free in that way. Be happy in that way. Be conscious in that way. Be deliberate in that way. Be powerful and precise in that way. Be confident and calm in that way. Be sure of yourself in that way. True mastery is when you exchange the need to control your environment for true confidence in your chosen frequency. You are masters. You just didn't know it. Now you do. Make it conscious. Make it joyful. Make it aligned so that you can be of service to yourself and all the rest of yourself. Joy serves. If you're not happy, you're not helping. Be happy. Be happy first and everything will show itself. Everything will realign itself. Relationships, finances, circumstances, dynamics, the state of the world, the state of the collective, your government. All of these creations, all of these reflections of who you are, are indeed reflections of who you've chosen yourself to be. Change who you choose yourself to be and you will change all of these things without changing a single thing. Without lifting a finger, you will change the world. Dominate your vibratory state. That is all you have to do. That is all you wanted to do from the moment you arrived to this earth. You wanted to be conscious you wanted to be a master of your frequency and now you're learning to be so choose your focus develop the adept's focus the sincere genuine desired focus be more in that focus be more in that stream of your choice preference is good be the preference you wish to see Paste it onto everything you see. See only what you desire to see. Interpret it only as you entire desire to interpret it. Make no mistakes in that way. A mistake is when you choose to think something you don't feel good about. Correct it by choosing to think something you do feel good about. Thank yourself for being so conscious, for being so awesome, for regaining mastery and free will.
Be in love with yourself because all that is is in love with you already. You're the only one that's not in love with you yet. Become more in love with you. Let things come to you with zero effort. Why strive when you can simply be in a state of joy and let things reflect that automatically? Have patience by no longer waiting. Everything you desire is already held for you in the emptiness that you are. Become the emptiness, which is the space of awareness, choosing its desired frequency. And voila, things start popping up effortlessly. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention, Sven. Thank you for being true adepts. I appreciate you. I appreciate your commitment, your desire to the greater good by honoring your alignment. And... Uh, Let's have fun. <laughs>